Hi everyone, how are you? How is it going? Good morning. Um, I'm grateful to God for this day the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in Him. Um, we have been talking about Kenya and praying for Kenya and bringing all these requests to God for Him to remember Kenya because this is a, an election year for Kenya. We trust God for great things for Kenya. There's a lot of Kenya, Kenya, Kenya talk. I just pray that um, the more you hear about Kenya, the more you hear and learn what's happening in Kenya, the God will put in your desire to want to pray and stand with Kenya and encourage Kenyans, wherever they are, to pray to God to give direction to their nation and to put peace in people's hearts so that the decisions that are going to be made will not be decisions from a point of a war, but instead from a point of a peaceful heart. We have been going through the book of Judges um, because we want to just see how the Israelites went into battle and how God was with them, how they trusted God, at their times they did not trust God, what happened when they did what God told them to do in terms of uh, just getting rid of everything that was in a land, what happened when they left some. So that's uh, why I'm encouraged to go through the book of Judges and to listen in on just prayer items that we can pray for Kenya as a nation. Uh, last time we read the book of Judges chapter 1, just a few verses. I want us to look at uh, chapter 1 again, verse 4 to 11. Um, I just pray that as we see, as we learn, as God gives us insight, we'll be encouraged to pray for Kenya, and every Kenyan will be encouraged to desire better, desire godly ways, desire godly leadership, desire godly campaigns, desire everything led and influenced by God. Um, so we will read. We read the Bible. Judges chapter 1 verse 4 to 11. Uh, when Judah attacked the Lord, when Judah attacked, the Lord gave the Canaanites and Perizzites into their hands, and they struck down 10,000 men at Bezek. It was there they found Adoni Bezek and fought against him, putting to rout the Canaanites and Perizzites. Adoni Bezek fled, but they chased him and caught him and cut off his thumbs and big toes. Uh, then Adoni Bezek said, 70 kings with their thumbs and big toes cut off have picked up scraps under my table. Now God has paid me back for what I did to them. They brought him to Jerusalem and he died there. The men of Judah attacked Jerusalem also and took it. They put the city to the sword and set it on fire. After that, Judah went down to fight against the Canaanites living in the hill country, the Negev and western foothill. They advanced against the Canaanites living in Hebron, formerly called Kiriath Arba, and defeated Sheshai, Ahiman, and Talmai. From there, they advanced against the people of the people living in Debir, formerly called Kiriath Sefer. Clearly, as you can see, there is like a plan on uh, what they needed to do to take the land that God had promised them, because the people were living there who had already taken possession of the land. But that was the place that God had um, had given the Israelites. So we can see how it's like a mapped plan on where they're going to go fast. They seem to be very clear on we are going to start with these people. And it, they are going, uh, they're going from one space to another and eliminating and clearing all the enemies that are in these places. Um, you know, I'm picking the word enemies in this case and then I am using it to refer to the enemy of Kenya. And like I had mentioned, one of the biggest uh, enemies we have in Kenya is corruption. It's an enemy who we have allowed to stay in our land and find peace and comfort and it can feel very comfortable and normal to think about the things that we do in Kenya 
that are corrupt actions that corrupt us that deny other people so many opportunities is corrupt our system and we can get so comfortable in it that we forget that if it was not for these things if it was not for the corruption if it was not for the injustice if it was not for the vices if it was not for for market campaigns we would have made a lot of progress as a nation opportunities would have opened for our people there are many 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 opportunities that corruption takes away from kenya as a whole and denies many people uh, justice which again brews more and more a heart and other people react people react differently to the kind of injustice that they experience so I'm looking at this and I, and I think my prayer for, for, for even the leadership that is as they wind up and the leadership that is going to come and not just for them but for us all to support in the vision to just say no. I mean, if if I'm found and I know that I've, I've done wrong, there's a traffic offense, there's an offense that I've made, I am already clear on what the fine is, you know, take the fine, it will cost but it's the right thing. If it's an offense that I have done, take the fine. Go through the clear route. It also helps me to be able to start also thinking critically about my integrity because it costs to do wrong. But what if every time I, am, I have something small that I, I want to give, I have you know, something small I want to make sure that I cut corners and there are people who really need the justice system and cannot do that. I am using my, my 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 resources, and while I am busy taking the opportunity to take to give bribes and be part of the corrupt system and uh, propagating it, I am denying someone their their right indirectly to be able to get that time, get that person who's the resource who's supposed to be helping them. So um, I just pray that. The current leadership and the incoming leadership in August is going to be given the wisdom of God to map it out for us. I mean, start with this corruption. Let's fight it out. And what I like about uh, what they're doing is that they're going and clearing everything. You know, sometimes we want to fight corruption uh, and make sure we don't touch those people who are close to us. We want to give justice to people we know we want to deny justice to people we don't know we want to go and process passports for people we know we don't want to process passports for people we know we want to do things partly we don't want to go in with our full hearts but i thank god because i know he has raised in kenya people in every sector the in, in the judiciary in the legislation in the in the executive he has raised people who have a desire to go the whole way if it's fighting corruption from the head to the you know from the highest to the least i i just pray that that god will give us courage to and, and the current leadership will get support from the king for the from the from the country uh from the citizens and they map out the current leadership and the uh, incoming when they map out a plan to fight corruption in every area it doesn't matter who is involved you know just work this thing and clear it and cut it off the nation and give us an opportunity to thrive and put systems that actually work so that people do not use loopholes and above all i pray that god will touch our hearts so that i will see this you know the way the, the israelites are advancing and taking one piece at a time you know it will take time it won't be like a day of going inside office and you know corruption is gone you know, it will take time, it will take a lot of opposition, but I just pray that God will, you know, in verse, in verse, uh, which verse is this? Verse 4 says, when Judah attacked, the Lord gave the Canaanites and parasites into their hands. I know when the leadership decides to fight the vices that are uh, working against Kenya, the enemies of our country, as we would, we would say, I know God will give them the power to do so and give them the, the the support of the people and again i see some of these things we might not understand how deep we our vices are affecting the rest of the nation but you know you see you see this uh, this guy in verse 7 called adoni Bizek. he is caught well he tried running away he's caught and they cut off his thumbs and big two big twos and guess what he says in verse 7? 
um, seventy kings with their thumbs and big toes cut off have picked up scraps under my table. Now God has paid me back for what I did to them. They brought him to Jerusalem and he died there. You know, I look at him as one vice that was like a whole problem to a community because he's saying like seventy kings, seventy kings. Those are seventy rulers. Those are like seventy kingdoms that have been thrown into chaos. He's probably gone and treated them with so much cruelty when we allow things like corruption to thrive we are setting ourselves up for such cruel you know a re, um, a re, the response from what corruption can do i mean i'm just thinking from this this guy this this guy adoni bizak Actually, had seventy. He's saying so. You know, seventy is a huge number of people just eating under your your your, your table. With people who he had treated cruelly. If we don't manage our corruption, it will treat us very cruelly. It's gonna drain us. It's gonna drain our energy. It's gonna drain our resources, and it's gonna turn our our, our country upside down. Wow, <laughs> I'm beginning to sound like you know I'm coming in here and thinking, oh, this corruption needs to go. I guess I'm coming from being a Kenyan and seeing what we have done to our country because I could say, you know, there are people who are corrupt. But I must say that I have, in one way or the other, participated. I have flaunted those rules and have tried to get away with something, something small. I have watched those lights turn green and they said, ah, there are no cops, I'm gonna just drive through. I mean, there are times when a process is taking long and I'm thinking, huh? But there are times when you're like, okay, so, I, well, I'm just one person, what can I do? So in one way, passively or actively, we have helped corruption really thrive in our nation. And I'm sure it's really, really draining us. So I, just, I guess just praying for that one thing today, for God to be with the leadership that is there, to help them, whether they will just map out like one small portion and just get rid of it totally. And for the next leadership to come out with a clear plan to fight corruption, you know, you don't even need manifestos to do many things. It's just because it's like we have a tap that is running into a bucket that is empty, that, that, that is uh, broken inside. So everything we're planning is going just down the train. Just a plan to say our focus is just clearing corruption and even letting status quo remain, you know. Oh, that's my prayer. I just pray that, that God will give wisdom to our leadership, current leadership, for the days they have in the office, and for a citizen, for us Kenyans, and for the incoming team, for them to be able to come and confidently know God is with them to fight this vice. Yeah. <laughs> Quite a stop even for me. So I just want to make a prayer. Lord, I come before your presence this morning, and I just pray that, Lord, you may remember every single person in leadership, in a position of influence and authority in Kenya, I just pray that, Lord, you may give them wisdom and courage. I think especially courage and reminder that you, the one who's put them in these places for them to be able to serve the nation. I just pray that, Lord, in Jesus' name, you're going to take every one of them and put in them a desire to fight and say no to corruption. Put in, put in them a desire to stop wanting the things that come out of corruption, the gains of corruption. Help put your Feel full, fulfill them, Lord, so that they stop looking for, for you in these other things that are hurting the nation. We pray that, Lord, you may forgive us because all of us, in one way or the other, we have participated and helped corruption really thrive in our nation. I mean, Lord, you've given us a beautiful nation, and if we don't stop this, we are going to destroy ourselves. Please forgive us, O oh Lord. We also pray for the incoming leadership that we will take over in August. Father, please give them wisdom on how to. Just map out a plan and fight corruption and stop this leak that is destroying our nation and allow our land to thrive and, and, and flourish, oh God. Thank you because you hear us when we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. We continue to trust God for our nation, for the incoming leadership, for this election year. And we just pray the Lord that, the, that, that our God is going to help us through it all. Still our hearts, especially when we are seeing your candidate is not winning or your candidate's campaigns going by the poll are not what you thought they should be or um, 
oh if uh, you the, the campaigns is not finances to help your campaign your person's campaign drive like the other person's campaign i just pray that god will steal the hearts of every kenyan who is glory again um yes <laughs> continue to subscribe share with your friends and let's join as many as possible let's create a movement just rally up and, and just stand in the gap for kenya for the glory of, and, and honor of god and for the excellent uh, success of Kenya in Jesus name. God bless you so much. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your week in Jesus name. Bye bye.